This is why you must destroy the evil altars working against you in your bloodline. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father hath and cut down the grove that is by it. Judges 6 verse 25 Hello everyone, welcome back to Emmy's Corner. Thank you for always supporting by watching my videos. In this episode, we will be looking at why you must destroy the evil altars working against you in your bloodline. Altars are places of spiritual transaction either between God and his people or between demon and its people. It is important to note that altars affect destinies. At the altars, destiny can be monitored, manipulated or destroyed. Watch and find out why you must destroy these evil altars working against you as a believer. I don't understand what's going on in this community. This strange sickness is killing people untimely. It must not come near me and my loved ones. I am afraid and I don't want to die early. I want to live for a long time. I am scared of unexpected death. I need to do something on behalf of this family. I should do something fast. The Wes one told me to raise an altar for the gods. I should do that fast. Greetings to you, the wise one. I have come to do what you told me. I've been thinking about it and I think it's time to raise an altar so that no evil will befall me and my family members. I seek protection for all the Williams from the gods. You have made a very good decision. Raising an altar to the gods will protect you and your loved ones from evil. To raise this altar, I hope you know that you must offer something to the gods and the gods will take something in return. It is not free. Yes, wise one. I'm ready to give anything. Now, let's proceed to raise an altar to the gods. I, mouth of the gods raise an altar with the representative of the Williams family to the gods. We bring this sacrifice to you and we hope that you accept it. Kill the cuck and come and pour the blood here. Yes, wise one. I hope that you will accept the sacrifice and in return protect every member of the Williams family from evil. We raise this altar to you and we command it to run in their bloodline. From generation to generation, protect the Williams even as they come to renew their sacrifice yearly. This altar will speak for your family today and always. Mr. Williams, the gods have accepted your sacrifice and will protect your family, but you must give something in exchange. Speak Wes 1 for I am listening. The gods say that there will be no wedding celebrations among the female in your bloodline. They will give birth to children and cohabit with men, but there will be no wedding celebrations. This is what the gods will take as exchange, so that this altar will speak for your family. Fair enough. There's no problem. The altar has now been raised. This altar will speak and fight for your family. Go and succeed. Alex, please help me with the remote. No sis. I want to watch football. I won't get you the remote so that you won't change the channel. Every time, you're always watching football. My friend, bring me the remote or else I'll put off the television. Oh, oh, oh. Sister, you should go and get married and stop fighting over the remote with me. Aren't you supposed to marry by now? If I slap you, must everyone marry in this life? Please, don't even get me angry. I'm sorry sis but I have observed something in this our family. Have you noticed that it is only the men that get married? The female give birth and stay with their parent or cohabit with the man but no wedding ceremony. I'm really concerned about you sis. I don't want you to be like them. Will you keep quiet? You talk too much for your age. It was just a harmless observation. This thing my younger brother said is true. In this Williams family, no female has ever had a wedding celebration. It is always the man. I really want to be different. My case must be different. Marubel, Grace, Favor, Elian, Lizzie are all living with their parents and they all have kids. No no no, my case will not be the same. I will marry and live with my husband. Whatever hindered the girls in my family will not stop me in Jesus name, A. By the way, where are we going to? To my house. For what? Are you planning to introduce me to your parents? You should have told me so that I'll prepare. 
Like me? I don't like when you take me by surprise. How many questions will you ask at a time? Yes, I want to introduce you to my parents as they've been disturbing me. They want to get to know the person I'm dating. You should have told me. You know I don't like surprises. Don't worry about what you'll be gifting them. I got you what my mom likes, it's in the boot. As I already told you, my parents are ministers of God so expect questions about being a child of God. Alright. Good evening, Dad. Where is Mom? She's in the kitchen. Did you bring her? Yes, Dad. Surprise, surprise. Good evening, sir. Evening, my daughter. How are you? Fine, sir. Thank you. You're welcome to my home. So, what's your name and what do you do? My name is Sandra Williams and I'm a lawyer. That's good. So, do you love my son? Tell me, so that we can disturb him to do the right thing on your behalf. As you know, I'm a preacher of the gospel and I want my son to do the right thing. I hope you're a child of God. This one is my own. She cannot be married to anyone. All the females in their family were given to me in exchange for an altar raised for their family. Your son must not marry her. Stay away from her. Blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Excuse me, sir. You look shocked. Is everything all right? It's nothing. Dinner is ready, let's go and eat. What a day. At first, my dad was happy to see Sandra, but he didn't look impressed after talking to her. I hope everything is okay because I really love her and would like to spend the rest of my life with her. Dear son, I want to talk to you. Let's talk man to man. No problem, Dad. Come in. So what are your plans for Sandra? You know that you're a pastor's child and you must not do anything that will bring shame to us. Dad, I'm planning to marry her. I just need to move out of here to my own apartment before I propose. Thank God, you haven't proposed to her yet. You can't marry her. Why? Why can't I marry her? We love each other and she's God-fearing. You see, there's more to marriage. I agree that loving your partner is important, but I saw something spiritually. There's an evil altar working against the females in her bloodline. It will take serious prayers and power to marry her because that evil spirit follow her everywhere. What you're saying might be true. She told me that she wants to be different from the girls in her family. That they all get pregnant and remain in their father's house. That is only the males that get married in their family. By God's grace, I saw it. If that evil altar is not destroyed, it will be difficult for her to marry and it's going to be a battle. You, my son will not be left out in this swarm and you're not prayerful. What should I do? Dad, I really love Sandra. I can't lose her because of an evil she did not partake in. Don't worry, my son. That evil altar can be pulled down by the power of the Holy Ghost. Talk to her and bring her to church for deliverance. Both of you must be very prayerful if you must win this battle. Thank you so much for your help, Dad. You're welcome. It's like his dad doesn't like me. His behavior changed towards me after we spoke or was he being observant? Whatever it is, I hope nothing changes in our relationship. This is the first man that hasn't told me to get pregnant before he marries me. He's very different and unique. I love how he loves God. I believe my son has already told you everything. God revealed something about your family to me the day you came. I've been praying about it. He told me and now I understand why some things are the way it is in my family. You see, it is not God's plan for believers to suffer afflictions from their enemies, but there are altars that keep speaking against them. In your own case, an evil altar was raised in your bloodline and a sacrifice was made. Satanic altar is a place designed for offering sacrifices to Satan in order to make a request or appease them. Someone in your family raised an altar in exchange for something. Satanic covenants are made and sealed in an altar. This altar can prevent the fulfillment of the purpose of God in a believer's life. I have good news for you today. A satanic altar can be pulled down by the power of the Holy Ghost. Gideon was commanded by God to pull down his father's altar before he could fulfill his destiny. 
Isaiah 44 verse 25 says that frustrated the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad, that turneth wise men backward and maketh their knowledge foolish. God is able to pull down every stronghold but you must pray. I'll give you prayer points to fast and pray with for three days. Then, come back for deliverance. No power can stop your celebration in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you today, every altar of witchcraft, sudden death, stagnation, late marriage, no marriage, unfruitfulness raised against your family is destroyed right now. I command every altar of shame raised against your life, in the physical and in the spiritual to catch fire right now. Let the altar of the blood of Jesus begin to consume them in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, wash me clean today by your blood, forgive my sins and have mercy upon me and my family. I cover myself and my household with the blood of Jesus. According to the word of the Lord in Deuteronomy 12 verse 3, And ye shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. My father, my father, every evil altar erected in my village by my forefathers, I set it ablaze by the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I destroy every decision or vow of household altars affecting the plans of God for my life. Every problem in my life controlled by evil altar using incantations placed upon me, backfire by fire. My Father, my Lord, let your fire destroy every sacrifice of my father's and mother's house that has caged many generations, let destinies be released from these altars in the mighty name of Jesus. Every rituals done against me at any evil altar, be destroyed in Jesus' name. Evil altars of my father's house, hear the word of the Lord, lose my destiny and catch fire. I command every tree, well, stone or anything in my father's house that is standing as an altar against my family to wither and die in Jesus name. I command an evil altar of darkness where demonic agents have taken my money, pictures, clothes or any of my property to catch fire right now. An evil power using anyone in my family to add problems into my life, through evil altars, be destroyed in Jesus name. Every evil altar of stagnation raised to stagnate my life and destiny, be pulled down by the power of God. Holy Ghost fire, consume any demonic altars in my life and family. Every angry altar from my father's house, I break the evil link in Jesus' name. My virtue and satanic altars, come out by fire. Every evil altar in my bloodline speaking against my progress, I terminate and destroy your activities in Jesus' name. Every inherited foundational yokes, ancestral demons and powers arising from angry altar, I command you to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Every evil altar troubling my marriage and destiny, be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. From today, the blood of Jesus separate me from evil altars, from evil curses and covenant. According to your word in Hebrews 12 verse 24, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus Christ, and I redeem myself from every evil covenant working in my bloodline. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I raise up an altar of continuous prosperity upon my destiny, let the glory of my life stolen by these evil altars be recovered in Jesus' name. I recover everything I lost. I declare and decree that because I am the lineage of Jesus Christ, I can't be held captive by evil altars in Jesus' name. I erase my name from the evil records on evil altars. I cover my deliverance with the blood of Jesus. Thank you Lord for answered prayers in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Thank you Jesus for I am free. Who the Son sets free, is free indeed. I am a living testimony for what God cannot do does not exist. I've been looking for you. In fact, I'm just coming from your house. What have you done? What did I do? Uncle, I don't understand what you mean. These young girls of nowadays are so bold. Why did you destroy that thing? Why? Why? What thing is that? 
I hope you're not planning to marry that pastor's son. I know they're the ones that opened your eyes. I will never accept their bride price. I, your uncle promise you that it shall not happen. Satan is a liar. I am a child of God so the word of God must be fulfilled in my life. The word of God says that a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined together as one. I will be celebrated in the land of the living. Any man or woman that says it will not happen shall go down for my sake in Jesus' name. Amen. I, Sandra Williams take thee, this day to be my lovely wedded husband, to love and to hold, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. I love you. Congratulations to you and your husband. Thank you, uncle. No matter how strong the evil altar is, it will be destroyed when it encounters the power of God. You need to grow in power so that you can destroy any evil altar that wants to challenge your advancement. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. God bless you and perfect all that concerns you in Jesus' name. Amen.